Hey guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. This particular video, this is going to be the press conference for tomorrow's game, which is uh, Mainz versus Bayern Munich. Uh, obviously in the Dia Big Pokal. Uh, and um, yeah, we're going to be doing the press conference reaction, Vincent Company's press conference reaction. We'll go through that, so on and so forth. If you do go on to enjoy, apologies for the for that. Please do smash the thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think and what the managers have to say or what I've had to say. Hit the damn subscribe button if you haven't already. We're so close to hitting 4,100 subscribers, which is just bonkers because we've literally only hit four and that was, that's bonkers. So, yeah, mad. Socials above as always. But, yeah, big up to everybody. Thank you for the support. Sorry that there hasn't been a video out today. I need to get back into the flow of things. My sleep schedule right now is absolutely fudged. Uh, I need to get back into the flow of things of getting videos up early for you guys, um, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I do apologize that this video is only coming out about around like half five six ish or whatever uk time so yeah i'm 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 sorry right without further ado though let's go over to this one uh this one bosh bosh uh like so and um, so yeah here he is talking obviously uh, about mites uh as you can see here uh, and let's get into this bad boy with me ankle clicking um so yeah straight away uh, the first thing he was asked on is about uh, tomorrow's opponent. He said, Mike's are very strong in duels. Always try to put pressure on the opponent from a compact uh, position. Uh, they're a team that uh, that's always aware. Uh, you can see that in every situation. It's a cup game. Uh, it will not be uh, an easy task. We are prepared and are looking forward to the, uh, to the game. It's important uh, to advance. Mate, if you don't advance, I think you should be sacked anyway, personally. I just feel like you're too inexperienced. But if you don't advance, that is a sackable offence in itself. Like, I'm not taking the piss. We haven't won this since Hansi Flick won it. And Hansi Flick hasn't been here for how many years now? We've been through two managers, you being the third manager. Come on now. There's levels to this game. You need to do your job. It just is what it is. Um, right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why does he always need someone to hold his hands, bro? I just want to hear from the manager, not from you, you dick, Swede. Uh, free run on integrated in the youth. Uh, players said, you look at each player individually. Everyone is uh, is at uh, their own stage of development. Uh, basically saying that we're not playing anyone. Okay. Uh, we have a very good squad. It's not easy for them to get a lot of minutes. Uh, we talk about it every time. It's very important uh, to us how they develop. The boys are doing uh, really well. It's not easy for a young player to get uh, playing time at FC Bayern. It all, uh, also depends on momentum. I'm convinced that the boys are ready when they're needed. Uh, you have to decide for each individual player what is the best uh, next step for them. Um, right. One thing that needs to be said straight away. Kingsley Coman has been stinking up the joint far. I don't care if he scored that cool goal. Yeah, cool. He scored a goal. How many times has he fucking put it over the bar, though? He shit. Nabry, Nabry's just Nabry. He's just not doing the best at the moment, you know. Um, you know, come back to the clip of 2020. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and Leroy Sane is crap. So, realistically, if you're not putting Jamal Mazzola and you're not putting Tao on the left-hand side, so Jamal goes in at the 10, you've got that left-hand side free. Then you've got Michael Olise. That's one player. Why cannot? Why did Brian Zaragoza have to get loaned out? He could have got game time. Oh, no, because of the three stooges. Why can't Arakunda get game time? Like, come on now. you. Th there's levels to this, and you're just talking out of your ass. Uh, right. Uh, company on the importance of the Pokal. He said, in my mentality, there's uh, no ranking. There's uh, only the next game. For us, it's just uh, as important as a final because it's uh, the next game. We want to win, and we'll do everything uh, we can to return home successfully. Yeah, you fucking want to, mate. Um, why are we talk? Why is he talking about the Ballon d'Or? What the fuck? Oh my god, bro! This Ballon d'Or robbery bullshit has so been pushed out of proportion. By the way, it's fucking annoying me. Um, he said, "I know Rodri. Wow, he's an incredible, talented player. The fact that he won this award is great achievement." Bro, you're the Bayern manager, bro. I don't give a shit about him or Vinicius Jr., bro. Um, then he said for Harry Kane, it's fantastic to win the Gerd Miller Award. The longer I know him, 
the more certain I am that he is not just um, concerned about, but yeah, I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Whoever asked him that question, you are a dickhead. Um, because I don't give a flying fuck uh, about the Ballon d'Or, bro. Rodri doesn't play for my club. Vinius Jr. doesn't play for my fucking club. So fuck off. Um, simple. Freeland on Harry Kane. Uh, we are very proud that Harry won this award. His uh, record with us uh, and the national team is incredible. Uh, what's also very important to us is how he works for the team. His big goal is to win titles with the team. For that, we need um, his goals, but also his performance for the team, which he's delivering. Okay, cool. Whatever, shut up. Um, company on the pitch in Mainz, Gladbach, um, Gladbach uh, criticised the pitch after their game. Uh, okay, he said sometimes the pitch uh, affects uh, the course of the game, but we're not thinking about that. We could play on uh, the top uh, of the Himalayas. Well, I'm not sure about that one, but okay. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, we are the better team tomorrow and that we win. I understand where he's coming from. He's basically saying, like, that means jazz shit. Free run on injury. Why is free run talking about fucking injuries, bro? <sighs> Sancho Bowie is in training with the ball again and will be joining the team training in the next few days. We hope that uh, he will be uh, available again soon. Hirokuyito had a small setback, but is now making progress again. We hope that he will be able to get back into training towards uh, the international break. For Yoshi, it, it will take a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, bro, he's fucking... Uh, company on the early exits of the DFB Pokal in the recent years. He said, we can't change the past. It's about uh, what we bring tomorrow. That's our uh, whole focus. I have an incredible confidence in the team. Uh, and then that's that. And then obviously there's Hurricane Ito training. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm just getting a bit bored of these press conferences personally. Um, you know, not, not because of the company out or anything like that. Like, just some of the media questions are so dumb. I don't understand why company needs this fucking handheld. Like, come on, he's a grown ass man, grown ass man. He's got a brain of himself. He knows full. What he, you know, even if they were to stick it on him, uh, with the questions, that he ain't gonna mean jack shit because he's not stupid. He's an intelligent person. He might not get it right with him being a manager and he being inexperienced, but he's a thirty-eight year old man. Like, why does he need his handheld? Why do we need free room? Why do we need treason? Why do we need fucking herbal? The big fucking donut eating prick. Like, I don't understand. So, yeah, it's just annoying me. But either way, let me know what you think and what the managers have to say. Smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. And until then, uh, we'll be back later for um, either a video or a stream. Uh, but, yeah, big up. Yes, I'm here. Peace.